Trisha Paytas just had her baby number two. Well, I would say Trisha Paytas and Moses just had their baby. Let me see. I'm going to fix my hair real quick, guys. I am getting ready because I'm going to go hang out, uh, do some shopping today. So I was like, let me just like sh get ready with me. And we're going to talk about Trisha Paytas and all the drama. Um, is it in my way? I think the hair looks okay today. I've been letting my hair grow out. And this is how long it is. And yeah, I got a perm. So it's not natural. Don't think that. Okay. Mostly everything about me is fake. Down to my teeth. <laughs> it's a lot of plastic going on here. Okay, so let me get ready. I just want to say I've been absolutely loving the Milani Cheek Kiss. It is a bronzer, but I just use it as foundation. This is really good. Pick up the drugstore. I'll link it down below in the YouTube shop if you guys want to pick it up. And I'm going in with just um, no primer or nothing. I'm just going to keep it real. It's like a kind of like no makeup, makeup look type day. Okay, so Trisha Paytas has now revealed that she has baby number two. It's a girl, and she named it Elvis. Like, how do you guys feel about a girl named Elvis? Let me know about that. I don't know. Like, I, to me, it's a, you know, whatever. I'm not going to say it's a boy's name because I like to believe that, like, you, you could be whatever you want to be or whatever. So, you know, good for that. I think the name is cool. And Elvis has, like, a big cult following. So maybe, you know... Maybe Trisha was like hoping for a boy, and but you know, at the same time, I just want to say that when she posted the picture, I was like, well, here come the comments. Oh, she's holding the baby wrong. She shouldn't be doing this, like like that. Like I already can already see like like those comments, you know? And so I was just putting a little bit on because I wanted to like make wake up the skin and it not be so like raw. Just like give me a little glow, a little life. Okay. Well, I do wanna say this. One thing I have noticed about Trisha lately is the fact that she has been able to honestly still be herself. I think a lot of times when people have babies, they tend to lose who they are as a person. And I'm going in with the uh, ColourPop Cosmetics, the brand new Pokemon palette. I'm probably going with like this, one of these shades over here. Like something like, like a little natural color. Anyways, I've noticed that. Like, listen, being a gay guy, a lot, of, a lot of girls want to, you know, have like a gay best friend, right? So I've always had like really beautiful women like want to be like friends with me and stuff like that. And then, and this, it's fun. Like I get this, you know, peek into their, their world. And I will say this, when they meet a guy and they get pregnant, they just stop hanging, hanging around like they're, like the gay friends. And that be, and I'm like, and you know, this is something that I've addressed with them. And I'm like, you know, why? And they're like, well, you know, like, my priorities change. Like I'm not all about going out anymore and, and things like that. And I'm like, oh, so it's all about like, it's all about the baby now, right? And so they're like, yeah, you know, I have responsibilities. Like I have a whole person to care for now. And so like, then they start hanging around like other moms and doing like PTA meetings and like, you know, mom stuff like that, you know? And it was kind of like a natural like progression. But what I've noticed about like Trisha is that she doesn't do that. She she hasn't lost the sense of who she is. And I applaud that. Uh, and I'm going in with the Westman Atelier. You can pick up Sephora. This is the Westman Atelier Contour Stick. I love this one as well. Okay, and it's a, listen, do not confuse bronzer with contour. Those are two different things. Okay, so I just, I kind of feel like when it comes to Trisha, she really, first of all, I believe Trisha is a narcissist, but I feel like we all are. Okay, I feel like anyone who's on YouTube, you are, everyone is a narcissist. I can peg one or two characteristics, but I'm not saying that she's a narcissist, like full blown narcissist, no. But everyone is somewhat of a narcissist. You could peg one or two char characteristics, right? So with that being said, I think that because Trisha Paytas is a bit of a narcissist, as am I, I feel like, um, and there's different types. There's covert narcissists and stuff like that. There's just levels to it, right? There's levels. I'm not saying that she's like one of the crazy bad ones. But I will say this. She still is all about herself. And she still dresses up in pink and does her hair. And it's just like the over-the-top Trisha that, that we know of. And she hasn't lost who she is. She's like, she's still a working girl. You know, apparently Trisha, Trisha Page has enough to feed the needy. Believe me, sweetie. Apparently Moses has money and she doesn't even need to work, but she does because she wants to. And that's what I'm talking about. I don't think that she has to work. I think that she loves to work and she loves the attention and the admiration from you guys, the people who watch, right? Whether you like Trisha or you don't like Trisha, she's entertaining. And with that being said, she knows the gig. And on top of that, she is still able to be a mom and give us Trisha Paytas. 
I thought that Trisha was gone. I thought once she had the first kid, it was all downhill from there. We're not going to see her as much. She's not going to upload as much. Nope. She's incorporating the children into her life. She's showing us things that they're doing. She's probably made some mistakes and she's learned. And so baby number two, I think is going to be a lot easier than baby number one and a lot less um, affecting her mental health, right? Because like it, it's, a, it's a big life change. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe that this happened. I can't believe I have a whole other child. And then you just kind of lose a sense of who you are, right? Anyways, let me show you the baby. Oh, but she's also popping off about Jeff Wittick and we'll talk about that too. So here's a footage of her and the baby that she posted. So if you guys haven't seen it, here we go, roll it. And we have to get blood work for tomorrow because I am supposed to have my scheduled C-section. I thought she was gonna come so much earlier. <laughs> we thought it was a Taurus baby. Others, she is most definitely a Gemini. But he brought me this quesadilla and it's so sweet. <laughs> I made me want to cry because I see so many people complaining about their husbands, partners, baby daddies, and father of their children. I mean, like, they do the bare minimum, they don't help out. I had to make my own birthday cake. And I see the rhetoric so much as, like, that's just guys, they do last minute card shopping on Mother's Day you know it's just in their nature and i always just realize like how lucky i really am i mean i always knew that but like going from being that person in a relationship where literally the other people like hated me like literally didn't even like me to like <laughs> he's watching her while i did the zoom call and got dressed he's looking for me he's like why are you and this is like the hottest quesadilla ever and this all been so much <laughs> so day before going to give birth <laughs> And I think the most thing I'm like, I'm so happy, but I'm so sad to leave Malibu here. Job is to be with family. They're all helping out. And, um, like staying here, but I'm just like, I don't want to leave her. I hope she understands, you know, like a year and a half, like that we'll be back. I'm going to go paint some walls around here. I remember this last time. I remember you putting this on last time. Ready? <laughs> Doctor. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. That's so funny. It's like a full suit. And you have, <laughs> I think you had the same haircut as last time too. I feel like this is like giving me deja vu. And you're happy, the smile. Now it's real. <laughs> it is real. Well, it'll be real in about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> you do look like one now. You are ready to go. This is like a shower cap. Well, you're completely covered, so that's good. I'm ready to right. go. Mm, I love Come you. <laughs> you're here. So cute. So cute, so well defined. She came, she came out. She said nine pounds, seven ounces. It's like two and a half inches long. Oh my gosh. You're a big girl. Big and healthy. Mm, it's so nice to get to hold her. It's so She's nice so to get to hold her. Too. I know. I love you. She ate a little bit. Yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, she opens her eyes too. Her eyes are so pretty. It's such a deja vu. It is. It's so crazy to be back here. Uh, I love you. Let's just go. <laughs> this is a baby burrito for real. <laughs> Hmm. She's sleeping. I'm resting. I'm not even going on social media. I was really tired after the surgery. They gave me like Benadryl, I think, to ease the itching after C-section. And I'm really sleepy. But it's not a week. And I was on my home for a little bit. And, like, this feels so surreal. And like heavenly right now. I don't 
really even feel the need to like post or like look at stuff. I don't know, it's, this is like the ultimate peace and contentment and happiness. It feels like literal heaven on earth. So I'm just like, okay, I don't need to be looking at my phone and have it. I have this just beautiful baby, healthy, sleeping in my arms. And it just feels like complete. I love her so much. Second pregnancy was wild. I think this is the final pregnancy baby, but it feels complete. I feel happy. I'm so happy to be healthy and good. And the baby's healthy and good. And I love you guys. Okay, grab a snack and come on back. Okay, first of all, I just want to say I got this on like, was it Timu or something? Uh, it's like a Mickey Mouse brush holder. And yeah, I like these. I like these a lot. Okay. And lately, you know what I've been I've been obsessed lately with like the Hermes lipstick. Um, this is in shade Rouge, Hermes, Rose, Incent, Saline, something like that. I've been obsessed with getting it with the Q-tip and like putting it on and like doing that. I I don't know. I did not, look at the difference from the bottom and the top. This is the Hermes one. It's nice. Like I'll link it in the uh, everything I'm using that I remember to. I'll if I remember to. I'll put it in the YouTube shop down below. You can check it out. But um, yeah, I really got accustomed to using Q-tips to like do these gigs. And like they're one and done. And I just like toss it when I'm done, you know? And I get the other side, I just kind of like, cause I want like that natural look. So I don't want like too much of it. But it just adds, it adds like a little ump of color. And it's like, it's exactly what I need. Okay, back to the Trish Paytas room. So she went off on Jeff Whitting. She knows more about the David Dobrik situation than I think a lot of people would like to believe. Like because she like she was there. God, these two these two concealers by Pacifica look exactly the same. I think I'm gonna go in with this one. She knows a lot more because like she she lived it, right? Like she was there. She was I guess she was part of the vlog squad. In fact, I'm gonna mix both of them. Honestly, I, I I've been thinking that like when it comes to like foundation and stuff, like this it's no one color can perfectly match you. Like in our face, we have thousands of colors mixing together. So I always feel like to get like a really good payoff, I just kind of feel like hey man like you should honestly do two or three different foundations to like really match your skin anyways uh, let me put this on i'm trying to brighten up the other eye just a little bit and i think i'll just overdid it uh, okay so anyways here's what trisha Paytas had to say about the vlog squad and jeff wittick and even jeff coming on to her show here we go roll it but this i am interested to talk about this one though like the whole jeff wittick calling out mm -hmm. david dobrik saga again it's a little bit old, but also it kind of is a continuous story. So, Definitely in here in the Just Trish world. It's always that's we awesome. were supposed to we were supposed to do a Jeff collab, and I'm so down to do it because I think if anyone like understands like the David trauma, the David vlog, his is crazy. I mean, I will always say this to like the day I die because Mike Malak was on Jeff FM recently, and that's like his friend, right? Mike's from like Impulsive, and he was like, "I was concerned for you, like you tweeting about David and all this stuff like that," and I was just like. This person, like Jeff says all the time, is like he's still going through like surgeries to correct his vision and stuff like that. And David's just like living his best life. I was like, I feel like Jeff is like Adam gets a pass to talk about this for the rest of his life, like as he should, because he's saying, okay, so basically the whole thing was like David or Jeff was tweeting at Snapchat. Is this what we're talking about, right? Yeah. At Snapchat, like, hey, like blood money, your money is being used to basically drown me world. out. Yeah. Yeah. Which travel the world, but also like, keep pushing back the trial. And this is the thing with rich people in general, which is like why a lot of people just don't sue rich people and rich people get away with a lot of stuff because whoever has the most money will usually win because they'll just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. I thought Jeff said his people were on pro bono, but maybe that expires at a certain time. Maybe at a certain time they are like, okay, we need to get paid for it. Cause I think if you have like lawyers pro bono, they get a percentage if you win the case. But it's been going on for a long time. So I guess David just keeps pushing it. And I've been in these two, not like something crazy, but I've been in a like a lawsuit, um, which I won. And then I never even got the money because I guess they just don't have to pay you or something. I don't know. Weird. But um, they kept pushing it and changing lawyers and changing this. So like it was – and then I just had to get paid. My lawsuit cost me – I was suing for $12,000. cost me $150,000. Oh, my God. And that's small scale. This is probably like millions of dollars. Ten million, he's suing for. Uh -huh. But then the, yeah. the lawyer's services again. If he's pro bono, he's not paying them. But like maybe they're like, this is probably over ten million dollars now at this point, so uh -huh. they're not going to even get that. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. So basically, tweeting Snapchat, he kind of went off. I mean, I saw, I was seeing them. I think this might have been the week before I gave birth. Yeah. So I might have I might have saw it, and he was going off for sure. Yeah, he said in his Jeff way, in his straight, very straight boy way, very. <laughs> yeah. I think he's beyond 
this is, to him, to him, it's not him being mean. It's just him being helpless in a situation that's just very trying serious. Trying to put anything out there. And and I felt like from all the tweets that I saw that maybe the trial got pushed and that pushed him over the edge. I think that's what it is. I think it's like yeah, it something got pushed again where it might it could sometimes even be like next year or something. And you're just like, damn, I have to wait again. I'm doing all these surgeries. Yeah. He's living his best life, traveling. Snapchat's paying him a million dollars a month or whatever. It's it, that would be the worst. It's not. Uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, like, like David had zero. He had to do zero accountability. He didn't pay the insurance. He might have scammed his insurance. Whatever the insurance paid. Natalie forged Jeff's name. Like all this new stuff is coming out, and like maybe Jeff will never get like a fair trial or like ever get a day in court because it's going to be too expensive and he's going to have to drop it. And then all this is for nothing. And David again will win because he's rich and it sucks. Like it sucks. Like, like to have no. Um, yeah, no repercussions for something you did. Like, that sucks. Like, you it, – it's awful. And then people, like, really trolling him in the comments and being like, you know, why did you do this? Why did – you know, it's your fault. I don't know. It's like – I feel for Jeff. I'll always feel for Jeff because it's, like, crazy. Like, I, and uh, honestly, even the accident, like, not to say whatever, it, like, could also affected him. You know what I mean? Like, his brain or something, you know? Like, I don't know what he was like before, really. But maybe – I don't know. Yeah. A little bit of trauma. He And he's getting ready for another surgery. So he did say, like – he's like – because everyone's like, are you just like on something? But he's like, no, like, I'm just getting ready for a surgery. So it makes me like extra like emotional, which makes sense. Like, yeah. he's going in for another damn surgery because of this kid, you know? So like, it makes sense. Yeah. I think when we talked to him before, like years ago, like I remember talking to him in like 2021 or something like that. And I remember he was just getting out of a surgery and yeah. he's like, my my brain. And like, yeah, you kind of feel for him. Like your brain's like affected by it. Mm -hmm. And it, I think the trial right now is scheduled now for like December, I think 16th. Oh, but so it is like a whole like end of the year. Yeah. So it, and who knows again, like if that'll actually keep that date, you know? And because Dave is trying to get it completely dismissed, so oh, he is. Mm -hmm. Is that new? Is that like a new thing, or it's always not, been? I, I think it's recent, but not that new. I think Jeff's talked about it before. How mm. Dave is trying to get the case dismissed. That's crazy. That's so sad. And like the thing is, in this world, like it's really like rich people can get away with anything. Like there was a celebrity. I'm, I I kind of remember. I don't want to say her name. Just whatever. But I think she did it hit and run and i think she all right so when i saw that i was like yes yes she is one of the only ones that i know of that is like applying pressure for this documentary to come out and the documentary is not going to show david dobrik in a good light but because what's that guy's name um casey neistat is trying to be cordial and be friends with these people and be unbiased he left the documentary on a good note and in all actuality it ended on a bad note but david dobrik has so much money and power that casey neistat really doesn't want to spill all the real tea about it and that's the real tea about that and i don't think we'll ever we'll ever know what really happened and casey not casey neistat to me i used to i used to I used to have respect for him but i've lost my respect for casey neistat for the simple fact that he doesn't show the full documentary and he wants somebody to buy it and spend all this money yeah, I'm using the uh, Chanel, um, it's like for the brows. And uh, I know, shut up and cover me. Honestly, like, I just feel like it comes across kind of like, like money hungry for him to do that. Like why, just post a video, girl. Like show the, pe the people wanna see. The people wanna see the David Dober video post it. And the fact that he doesn't post it, it just comes across like he's like leeching for money or money hungry the house. And I'm like, man, you know what guys? Like whatever happens is just like the truth. Like we wanna know the truth. The, pe the, people, the people wanna know. And I don't know why he doesn't like like show us. And that's what really upsets me the most about about him. Like show us, put post the video, but he won't. It all comes down to money and greed. It all comes down to money and greed. So, you know, one day I hope the video is released and I hope that the ending is edited correctly. Uh, but if not, I might make my video because I have a lot to say about the Casey Neistat video because I've seen it. See you guys later. Bye.